Greetings. Greetings. God bless you. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Facebook family. Praise God for those of you who will be joining me um, shortly. I just want to greet you in, in advance. Greetings in Jesus' name. It is Thursday, the 6th of June. Praise God. It's June already. My goodness. And um, before you know it, it's another year. And But we want to give God thanks for today. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. I wanted to share with you um, just uh, a few things today regarding prayer. We are in a month of prayer. Forgive me, I had a piece of paper and I seem to have misplaced it. Praise God. We are in a month of prayer and we want to thank God for the opportunity to come your way and to talk to you briefly about the importance of of praying, the importance of praying. It doesn't matter how long, doesn't matter how short. Um, sometimes we go away in tongues and you know Hebrew and Greek. But praying is important. Talking to Jesus is important. So communication is like blood in a fa in the body. If there's no circulation, the body dies. And so if you're not somebody who is committed to praying. Um, then you won't last long in the kingdom. Unfortunately, I got to say it as it is. If you're not a person of prayer, you're not going to last. So it's important that we learn to pray. Jesus taught his disciples to pray. He didn't leave it to chance. He didn't leave it up to them to figure it out. He taught them to pray. So we're going to begin in prayer. Amen. Father, we thank you for the word of God. We thank you for the prayer, the opportunity to pray. We come before you right now in Jesus' name, and we want to give you the glory and the honor and the praise. We lift you up. We pray that in all things that you, Lord Jesus, will get the glory and the honor. We pray today, Lord, that you will continue to, to bless us on our way. You woke us up this morning. Amen. We are alive because of your goodness and your mercy and your grace. And it's not lost on us that there are many people who did not see this morning. Hallelujah. And maybe those who... Maybe there are some who started the day and they are no longer here. But we are so grateful that even up until this moment, you are still with us. And we bless your name. We pray for those, amen, who are there going through their trials and their tribulations. Those whom the enemy has targeted. Father, we pray for help. Glory to God. Strengthen them by your power, by your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. All right. So the other day I was... Uh, Talking to uh, uh, my uh, officers, the officers at our, our our church, our congregation, and uh, I was sharing with them um, four things that we could call prayer. You know, prayer we we include a lot of things in there, but if you know, if you if you if you if if you don't mind, there are components of prayer, and uh, one of the one of the things that uh, that uh, included in prayer is what we call supplication. So supplication is when is when we 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 uh, ask for stuff, we entreat God for stuff, and uh, God doesn't mind um, you asking Him for stuff. Uh, he's a good, good Father, Amen. And uh, because He's our God, He wants us to come to Him, praise the Lord, and to 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 ask Him for for what we need. The, the other day, one of our sons wanted a ride from work. And uh, before I got wind of it, somebody else went to pick him up. And, uh, you know, it didn't sit too well with me initially. But then I understood that they were talking on the phone. And, you know, the, the, the need for a ride came up. And that's why that person went to get them. But initially, it threw me off just a little bit. Because I I wanted to, you know, be assured that I'm a good father. I'm not going to just leave our children out there in the dark. And I don't care. So that was important to me to make sure that he could get a ride home. And so it is. God wants us to come to him in all our ways, acknowledge him, little bit or small. How many of you parents out there, you know, you want to make sure that your children feel comfortable in coming to you. So the first aspect of prayer is what we call supplication, where we ask God, where we entreat God for things, for stuff. And so on. And so let's 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 supplicate right now. Father, in Jesus' name, 
we come before you lord jesus we look to you right now hallelujah god you you know just what we need hallelujah we need your grace we need your help hallelujah we need your help lord we need your help our help coming from you glory to god hallelujah there is nothing that you can't do and so we look to you the hill from where it's coming to our help father we thank you today we pray in jesus name hallelujah that you will help us help us in our homes help us at church help us oh god in our finances help us with our children help us with our spouse help us with ourselves oh god give us the right attitude over oh, to god help us to control our emotions our reactions help us hallelujah with our habits hallelujah oh god let nothing that our flesh craves hallelujah oh god be such that it will destroy our relationship between you and and us oh god father we pray for your grace we need your spirit we need your word we need your guidance we need your help over to god we need your strategy send help from your sanctuary hallelujah glory to god and strengthen us out of zion we give you praise today we honor you we bless your name the bible said the lord is good hallelujah your mercy is everlasting and your truth endures for all generation praise god so for first peter sir first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 paul writing to timothy is his mentee uh young pastor timothy said i wish first of all that supplication then he says prayers so after we supplicate and ask for stuff prayers is just communication with god praise god you know you know whenever you meet somebody you don't always need something. You're just talking. You're just communicating. You're just saying hello. You're just checking in. Praise God. Greetings, everyone. And pardon my manners. <laughs> Praise God. Minister Chisholm, Brother Gamar. Amen. Sister Donna. Praise the Lord. Uh, Evangelist Nelson. Uh, Sister Alicia. Praise the Lord. And all those who are watching whose names I miss. Greetings. Amen. So uh, prayer is just checking in with God. Amen. Have you prayed? today praise god father we just want to thank you hallelujah you are good you're great your mercy is forever uh we just honor you because you've got all in control hallelujah there's no shadow of turning with you you give it power to the faith hallelujah to them that have no might you increase its strength hallelujah we bless your name lord hallelujah you are higher than the highest god you're greater than the greatest no one can be compared to you. You're one of a kind. Hallelujah. There's no God beside you. Glory to God. You've got no deputy, no assistant, no co-God. Hallelujah. You're God all by yourself. Hallelujah. And we were, we acknowledge that. Oh God, our Father which art in heaven, we acknowledge. Hallowed be thy name. We bless you today. We thank you. Hallelujah. That you have revealed yourself to us. That we're not serving wood and stone and any other so-called God out there. But we serve the true and living God. His name is Jesus. And we bless you. Hallelujah. We honor you today and we thank you. Oh, we to God. We pray that your will be done. That your purpose will be fulfilled in our lives. That there's nothing that we do or say or any places we visit or attend. Hallelujah. That doesn't give you glory. Let our whole life, our existence, hallelujah, our actions please you hallelujah oh god even when we benefit let it still please you lord hallelujah it is your will for us to be whole it's for you it's your will for us to be healthy it's your will for us to prosper and be in health even as our soul prosper it's your will for us to be saved hallelujah it's your will for us to be blessed bless us lord so we can be a blessing hallelujah somebody need their own place to live own vehicle hallelujah somebody need an, an increase in their finances we pray in the name of the lord that you bless the work of their hands whatever they do let it prosper hallelujah over to god we give you thanks today and we bless your name in jesus name all right so time is running out so that's number two so the first one is paul says i want you to to, to supplication that supplicate to ask to entreat praise god ask god for more grace more anointing more power more this more that praise god and uh, prayer is just communication make sure you communicate with god god came down to to interact with adam praise the lord god bless you minister christy amen in the cool of the day praise god just to interact just to check in praise god and we need to check in with god 
Praise God. The third aspect of prayer, according to Paul, to, to Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, uh, after you supplicate and after you pray, he said, intercession. Intercession with God is a big deal. I, I guess your God is, is, is interested in us interceding. Praise God. And intercession is really uh, standing between God and the offender. Praise God. Uh, I think Ezekiel, Ezekiel 22 and verse 30, somewhere there. He said, I sought for a man, amen, to stand in the gap, to, to make up the, to, the, the hedge between me and the people that I should not destroy them. And I found none. So God is looking for intercessors. Praise God. Uh, when, 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 when the angels and the Lord told Abraham in Genesis chapter 18, that he's going to go down to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham said, Lord, but if you find 50, what about 40? What about 35? What about, you know, you know, he, he bargained, he interceded. When, when God uh, heard strange sounds coming from the camp of Israel and said, I, I, Moses, get down. The people have corrupted themselves. I'm going to wipe them out. I'm going to do this and I'm going to hit the reset button and start over with you. Uh, as a new nation, and Moses said, no, 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 hold on a second. What are the nations around going to say? That you start something that you can't finish, and that you brought us out here to kill us, and, and all that kind of stuff. And he said, Lord, block my name out. If you're going to do that to them, do the same to me. Praise God. Paul, Paul in Romans chapter 9, verse 1. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. All of those scriptures, Paul says, my prayer for Israel is that they may be saved, because I bear them record that they have a form of godliness. He said, I wish that, that they were saved. You know, he said, if they're going to be cut off, I wish I would be able to cut off for their sake. My prayer for Israel. You know, so, so Paul was an intercessor. And Jesus also, if you remember when he was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And so God wants us to be intercessors. Praise God, to stand in the gap for our nation, for our community, for our family, for even for ourselves. Let, let the, the spirit that's within you intercede for the flesh that's around you. So let us intercede. Father, we, we thank you today again in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Lord, remember we are about flesh. Oh, God, we are about grass. If you were to mark iniquity, none of us shall stand. And so, Lord Jesus, we pray today, Lord, for those who have not yet uh, uh, found you and known you like, like, like we claim we do. Oh, God, if we, there go we, but by the grace of God. Oh, to God, we ask you that you will help us. Oh, we pray for our country, for our leaders. Uh, Lord, they, they are not saved. They don't go to church. They don't listen so, they don't listen Christian radio. Hallelujah. They're not around anything godly that can influence them. They are, oh God. And so they make these decisions because they listen to the prince of the power of the air. But I pray, Lord, that you will send, send help some way or the other. Just like, like how you can connect with Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. God, you, you, you know how to get to them. Send a dream. Send a, send a Nathan to a, like you said, Nathan to David. You can, you, you, you can send a prophet. Send somebody. Send an event, an occasion. Oh God. But speak to them. You spoke to Pharaoh and told Pharaoh, don't touch Abraham's wife. Hallelujah. You know how to communicate to those, oh God, that we can't get to. And I pray in Jesus' name that you will minister to our prime minister the presidents, those or whatever titles they bear around the world. Hallelujah, Lord. We intercede for them because, God, we want to be able to live a peaceful and a quiet life. And so we ask you right now, Father, we pray for our members of parliament, our provincial parliamentarians, our local councillors, oh God, the mayors, oh God, those who are in charge of different wards, we put them before you. Grant us favor even for chosen mighty God. Hallelujah, that we may be able to find that place you have prepared for us. Glory to God, that we may grow and be effective and make an impact in the community into which you have placed us. We give you glory right now. We honor you and we praise you. In Jesus' name. And finally, the last one Paul wants us to remember is Thanksgiving. Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Amen. Try and get used to the same. Thank you, Jesus, all day long. 
as you work, as you move, as you do this. Lord, I thank you. Praise God. Because when you give God thanks, you are always in his presence. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Thanksgiving is a multiplier. Anytime you run lack of anything, let's give God thanks for what you have left. It will multiply. You will take that five loaves and two fish. Give thanks. It will multiply. Praise God. So give God thanks. We thank God, hallelujah, for the money we have. We thank God for the saints, oh God, who come to our congregation, who attend our location, our ministry, and our assembly. We give God thanks for the neighbors and the family members and the people who notice when we're not there. We thank God for the country we live in, for the food we eat, for the clothes we wear. Over to God for the places where we reside. We thank God. We give you thanks, Lord, for being able to earn a living, for, to be gainfully employed. Hallelujah. That we're not beggars. Father, we thank you that we're able to be a blessing to somebody else. We give you glory right now for our strength and our health and our sound mind, for the pouring out of your spirit. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. For what you have done and what you're doing and what you're going to do. Lord, your credit is good with us. You don't have to perform. You don't have to be Santa Claus for us to praise you. We'll praise you now. You can do it later. Hallelujah. We give you thanks in advance. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for them that love him. God, we feel something in our spirit. Glory. Hallelujah. That you have already done it. Oh God, you have already done it. We give you thanks. We bless your name. For the Lord is good. Your mercy is everlasting. And your truth and yours. Glory to God. To all generations. Bless your name today. Have your way. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Praise God today. It was a pleasure. Praise God. Speaking to you and sharing these 15 minutes. with God bless you, Sister Elaine. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Enjoy the rest of the day. Keep yourself in the love of the Lord. Have a great rest of the day. God bless you all. In Jesus' name.